بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Ms. Layla Jihani Welcome dear students again Inshallah today we will continue our unit All kinds of people Inshallah today we will cover two lessons Lesson 5 and 6 We will cover the listening and pronunciation Okay um, Before we start let's recall what we covered in our previous lesson in our previous lesson, we covered language and context, okay? We had different adjectives. We learned the meaning of these adjectives and we used the relative pronoun who to uh, form questions and answer as a conversation between you and a partner, one of your friends, okay? Um, inshallah, in our lesson today, we will cover, uh, by the end of it, you will be able to listen to conversations and infer who is speaking and match speakers with their pictures. You have different pictures, you will hear different conversations and you will try to guess who is speaking from the pictures. You will match the pictures with the uh, sounds, okay? Also, you will be able to pronounce the syllable stress in adjectives, okay? This is what we uh, focus on in pronunciation. We will learn how do we pronounce adjectives. Before we start, I give you homework, page 104. Do you remember? Okay. Uh, if you haven't done the homework, please do it. Uh, pause the video and do it and let's see the answers together. On Thursday morning, Martin decided that he wanted to invite some friends over that night he had to to do many to do many things at the same time when we have more than one action happening in the same time which tense are we going to use are we going to use simple past no we're using past progressive because we have two uh, or more sometimes actions happening either in the same time or a long action and something interrupted the other action. Write sentences about what he did, use the pictures and his list. This is the list of the things he did. You have to match one from here and one from here to form the sentences, okay? Uh, they already gave us the example, make a list of things to do and have breakfast. He was making a list of things to do while he was having breakfast. Remember, when we have two long actions, we use while. When we have a long action and a short action interrupting, then we use when. Excellent, we use when. Uh, try to look at the pictures on your book and try to form the sentences. Now let's see the answers together. For number one, he was making sandwiches while he made a cake. He was uh, taking, talking on the phone while he cleaned the house. He was thinking of what he needed to buy while he uh, shopped at grocery store. He was changing the light bulb while he watched TV. So this is um, the answer for exercise G. We have exercise H here. Complete the sentences either with when or while. Okay? You have to look at uh, the adjective. If you see a long and a long, then you will use while. If you have long and a short, then you use when. Okay? Um, let's do it together. Okay? We will do this one together. So let's read the, the first one. My brother was watching, so we have a long. And here was eating. So which one are we going to use? Which one? Excellent. We will use while. Okay. Number two, Ahmed was walking long and short. Which one are we going to use? When or while? Excellent. We will use when. Sorry. When. Number three, Maha and Badriya was were studying and the other verb rang. So we have long and short. We're gonna use when. Excellent. Easy, صح? I'm sure it is. Automatically, when you see a long and a long, you will use while. Okay? 
if you see a long and a short action, then you will use when. What is cutting? This is past, progressive, a long uh, action. And we have here past tense, cut. This is a short action for number four. So which one are we going to use? Excellent, we will use when. And number five, dad was drinking long and also here past progressive, a long one. So we will use while. Okay, the last one, they were and started. So automatically we put when. Okay, this is it for our homework. We did uh, and see and the answers together. Now let's move on to our lesson. If you can open your books, page 26, you can see a picture, a big picture with different uh, people. Where do you think these people are? If you look at the walls around them, they are standing and there is things on the walls. What can you see? Excellent, it's art. You can see some pictures, some paintings, so it's an art gallery. So these people are in an art gallery, okay? So they are there and each one of them is doing something different. We have here in the corner a person who's talking and another one is interviewing. And we see a third one who's taking pictures uh, of them when they, while they are talking. We see a man leaving here and uh, the other person is saying bye to him, okay? And we see two men standing in front of a picture and they're talking about the picture. So I'm sure in your book, page 26, it's more clearer than these pictures I have for you. And we have a man drinking coffee and he spelled the coffee um, on another person here. So and uh, here we see a man eating and the waitress is excellent serving him some dessert maybe okay so he's trying the food okay these just to know the actions and what are the people doing in the pictures keeping these picture in front of you okay looking at the pictures keeping the pictures in front of you let's read these statements together Look at the pictures of a gallery opening. Who said what? So you have to guess who is saying what. We will listen to different people talking. We will try to guess who is this person. Is he the man who is taking a snack? Is he the man eating? And then we have the person who taking the photo. Is he the cameraman taking a photo? And we have a conversation, the waiter who is carrying the tray. We have a waiter who's carrying the food and the other man is eating. صح? We have the man who is leaving the gallery. Someone is leaving. Okay. Um, the artist who is talking about his painting. We have an artist who is talking. He did the painting. This is his gallery. So he's talking and discussing the paintings. Okay. The art. The man who is talking to a reporter. We have a man in front of the reporter and he is talking. صح? Um, we have the man who spelled his coffee. A man spelled the coffee on another person. صح? The man who complimenting the artist. Who saying complimenting means saying good things about the artist. So, we will hear a conversation one, two, three, four, until I think eight conversation, uh, eight uh, speakers. You will listen. Number one, you will hear what is this person saying. And then try to put the number. Who is he? Which one of them? Try to put a number. You will listen to the second conversation and then you put the number. So, so we will hear it twice. You will have time to uh, try to answer it and then check the answers. Okay, let's do, hear the conversations together. Bismillah. One. Yes, thank you. They look delicious. They look delicious. We're talking about what? Which one is he? Try to think and find the answer. Who is eating and saying it uh, looks delicious? 
Okay, now let's hear number two. Two, I have to leave early. Thanks for inviting me. Three, now smile everyone, say cheese. Four, what a beautiful painting. What inspired you? Five, well, nature has always been an inspiration in my work. Six, would you like to try one of these? Seven, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Eight, as mayor, it is my pleasure to support the talent of new artists. Okay, we heard the conversations. Try to find the answers. One of them is saying they look good and one of them is saying I have to leave early. So who is he? And one is saying I have to support other artists. Who is he? Try to find the answers. Here, if you notice in, in the listening, the, we can see who, who uh, everywhere. We use who, which is part of our grammar. Do you remember? Who, it's a relative pronoun. We use it to give more information. So we have the person, the man, the waiter, and we give more information to that person. Now we will hear, uh, looking at the pictures, we will hear the conversation again, and we will try to, uh, we will check the answers. We will check the numbers we have put uh, here. Let's hear it again. Bismillah. One. Yes. Thank you. They look delicious. Two. I have to leave early. Thanks for inviting me. Three. Now, smile everyone. Say, cheese. Four. What a beautiful painting. What inspired you? Five. Well, nature has always been an inspiration in my work. Six. Would you like to try one of these? Seven. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Eight. As mayor, it is my pleasure to support the talent of new artists. Okay. We heard the conversation together. Uh, hopefully, you managed to answer all um, the questions matching the listening with the correct person. Uh, let's see the answer. So for the first conversation, the man who is taking a snack. So the man who's taking a snack, the first conversation, it's related to him. Number three, the person who is taking the photo. The man who's taking the photo, we will put three in front of him. Okay. Six, we will put it in front of the waiter who is carrying the tray. Two, the second conversation, the man who is leaving the gallery. Five, the artist who is talking about his painting. Eight, the man who is talking to a reporter. Seven, the man who spilled his coffee. The last one, four, the man who is complimenting, saying good things, uh, the artist to the artist. Okay, so this is uh, how we answer the listening. And this is, you can consider it as a practice uh, on how do we use relative pronouns to give more information. Okay, um, now for the pronunciation, for the pronunciation, listen and notice the stress in the adjective, then practice. So we have different adjectives here. We sometimes, when we uh, pronounce these adjectives, we stress on some part of it, okay? Most of the time, the stress is in the middle of the adjective, okay? Like here. Um, here we have, in, in, not in the middle, in the beginning, but mostly, mostly it's in the middle, like here. So we will hear the first one, talkative, talkative. Can you try to pronounce talkative? as an adjective, generous, generous. And here we have athletic, athletic. And here, persuasive, persuasive. Efficient, efficient. Reliable, reliable. 
pessimistic, pessimistic, absent-minded, absent-minded. These adjectives, I think we covered the meaning in our previous lesson, language and context. We know every word and what does these words, uh, what do these words uh, mean, okay? Um, let's look at other adjectives for more practice. Let's try to pronounce these adjectives. We already talked about this one, absent-minded, athletic, clever, friendly, funny, generous, hardworking, honest. Here we don't pronounce the H, we say honest, kind, lazy, optimistic, optimistic, patient, patient, persuasive, persuasive, pessimistic, Polite, quiet, reliable, rude, selfish, serious, talkative. Okay? Try to look at the table in language and context. Look how they stress uh, some parts. You can use um, the dictionary to type the word and then press uh, some electronic di dictionaries. You can press um, pronunciation and you can hear uh, different sounds uh, for these adjectives. Hopefully you know how to pronounce it now. Um, that's it for today. We will, what, let's recall what we covered in our lesson. We listened to different conversation and we tried to guess and infer which conversation matches with which picture and which person. Okay. And for the pronunciation, we learn how to pronounce different adjectives. I decided for this lesson, and inshallah we will do it every lesson, I decided to include something called fun fact. We will learn something new every lesson, okay, something around us. For this uh, lesson, I chose this um, information about the tallest living man, he is 37 years old, uh, his name is Sultan, he's from Turkey, and notice here also they use the relative pronoun, who is 8 feet and 2.8 inches, who set the record in 2009. He set the record to be the tallest man, he is a giant, he's a very tall man, okay? So this is just something to enrich our uh, information inshallah we will do it every lesson from now on okay that's it for today thank you for listening and inshallah i will see you next class